For over a thousand years, most of Western Britain has looked like this. Rolling moorland grazed by sheep. But in a quiet corner of Cornwall, there is an ancient rainforest. A remnant of a habitat that once covered 20% of this country. It's unique, temperate, influenced by nearby oceans and dominated by the oak tree and is home to one of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the world. Merlin Hanbury Tennyson owns this remnant on his family farm in Kabila. It's just 40 hectares today, but he has just launched the Thousand Year Trust, which aims to triple his and the UK's rainforests over the next 30 years. If you're going to try and fight climate change by planting trees, there is no better way of doing it than restoring and planting temperate rainforests. The Celtic oaks that grow here host up to 600 species, including the mosses, lichens and ferns, which play a crucial role in capturing carbon from the atmosphere. There are plans to plant new indigenous trees, but also to foster natural regeneration, the forest's own ability to reseed and grow outwards. Part of the challenge of a project like this is educational, persuading people that historically uplands and moorlands in this country were densely forested and that if we are to restore the environmental balance here and fight climate change, these last remaining pockets of temperate rainforest need to be protected and then massively expanded. One of the toughest tasks will be to turn local farmers away from centuries of sheep farming which has caused terrible damage to the forests. Owning and stewarding land is, um, is all part of providing a public service. And we've fallen into a mindset in the last few decades of thinking that that public service is purely growing food to provide to, um, to the food markets. Actually, there are other services we should be providing, whether that's pure air, whether it's removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, or whether it's making sure that our water is clean, floods and droughts are being prevented. All of those things are done in the best way possible through the planting and protecting of temperate rainforests. An hour away in the county of Devon, there is another fragment of surviving rainforest. This one managed by the Woodland Trust, a national custodian of the country's woods and forests. It too is campaigning for restoration and expansion. We live in a very sort of clickbait, fast moving society. Although the one thing about temperate rainforest which is very hopeful is that counter to ancient woodland, which obviously takes thousands of years to, to re-establish, we think that we can restore temperate rainforest in a much quicker time scale, so between 50 to 100 years. The British government wants to plant 30 million trees a year by 2030. Those campaigning for this country's surviving rainforests and against climate change argue the focus of that ambition must be here, in this precious, fragile and ancient habitat. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World, in the Kabila Rainforest, Cornwall.